Hello everyone, welcome to Tuning Into Love. Crystal Lynn here showing you our message today, love's message to us, number 32. Here are our cards, you guys. I love it. The overall energy is the Four of Wands. Choose peace, desert vision quest, and acceptance. Um, <laughs> we have got an awesome message today, so let's get into it. I just wanted to show you the cards that have come to us. So I will see you guys on the other side. Welcome. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Crystal Lynn here, out in this beautiful location by the river, tuning into love with all of you today. Thank you for joining me. I'm so grateful that you're joining me today for message number 32. I'm super excited to share this message. It's beautiful. Um, I know we've all been going through so many challenges. You've been experiencing setbacks and just overcoming obstacles choosing this path of love and it's like beginning you're beginning to see this path and it's manifesting and so let's get into today's message you guys welcome if you're returning welcome back so grateful to have you joining me and if you're new to my channel um, I would love to have you follow us along on this journey if it resonates with you because um, it's amazing so definitely welcoming you in grateful that you're here and let's get into it today, you guys. Message number 32 from love, which is in numerology of five, um, which often signifies, I believe, like, you know, challenges and things that we're overcoming. So I have to look into that and put it on the video. But the cards I pulled for the overall energy today were amazing, okay? We pulled the four of wands, which is beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's a card of celebration and harmony and contentment ultimate fulfillment this is a this is one of the most positive cards in the entire tarot deck so it's absolutely incredible the overall energy right now we are moving on this path of unconditional love authentic selves you know choosing what is right for us and moving forward with a knowing deep in our spirit and in our intuition and in our soul that this is what we are moving towards. This is the energy that we are embodying today in this reading. Um, the Four of Wands is all about ultimate fulfillment, stability. It's a happy home. It's a happy family. It's, you know, love and celebration. This is a time of celebration, of being grateful and celebrating everything that you've gone through that's brought you to this point. Um, this card often symbolizes or indicates that there's a marriage or celebration, engagement, um, a new baby, a graduation. Um, this can indicate oh, so many things. Reunion, people coming back from your past, um, romance, marriage. This is, this is basically what, what walking the path of love that we are moving this is our goal, is this happy, fulfilled life. We're surrounded by love in all areas of our life. This could be whatever new project or venture that you've just started, the new business, the new career, whatever it is, it's all successful. It's all going to be successful. Celebrate because you've taken the steps, you're walking this path. This is a card for celebration. It's You are celebrating something in your life. Get together with your friends and family, celebrate. Be grateful for everything and um, you know it's it's all about like you've completed this significant stage in your life you know this significant cycle has has come to a close you have learned like this cycle that has come to a close we have learned so much like we are super aware of what's going on and it's a time of celebration it's a time of celebration I love it um, along with the Four of Wands, we also chose Choose Peace. Um, we were given Choose Peace. So no matter what the situation is that you, that you are coming across, that you're dealing with, choose peace. You know, choose the path that ultimately is going to lead to peace. And that's love. So keep choosing peace. We also got Desert Vision Quest. Um, I'm going to read this to you guys. This is amazing. Amazing, amazing. I'm definitely feeling this. <laughs> so let's read what Earth Magic has to say about this. 
I feel like this is really important right now um, as we're tuning into our spirits, our authentic selves, our spiritual selves, you know, getting back in tune with our spiritual self. If I can find it here, you guys, I apologize. A vision quest is a process whereby you spend a few days in the wilderness alone. Typically, you carry only water and some sacred items with you and you spend most of the time praying or meditating. Many who have completed a vision quest assert that it is a powerful and even life-changing experience and report vivid and profound revelations. It is said that the desert does not lie, so partaking in this can help you discover the truth about your purpose or at least give you some clues. <clears throat> it is time for you, for you, to go on a vision quest. Designate a place in nature in which to dwell, whether for a couple hours or a few days. Spend the majority of your time while there praying and meditating. It is best to be in a location where you can truly find solitude, even if it's in a quiet corner of a park for an afternoon. Wherever you go, take your question, concern, or challenge with you into prayer or meditation. Allow it to float around in your consciousness and watch what shows up. This is one of the more powerful cards. By drawing it, whatever other messages you may have received are amplified threefold, y'all. Wow. So I am definitely um, feeling this is very important right now. If you have the opportunity um, to take a little vision quest into your spiritual realm, definitely take advantage of that right now. And if you don't have the time, make the time because there is nothing more important than you being in tune with your spirit. And right now, so much is coming through for us. So much intuitive guidance is coming through. And so really trust your spirit. Go do this. I know I'm being called on a vision quest. So let's do it, you guys. And really, the angels sent acceptance. So see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance in this way you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential so the overall energy of this reading is to truly see that everything you're doing right now is absolutely perfect you're doing just what you need to do and Keep tuning into your spirit. Keep tuning into your authentic self. Keep choosing love. Um, this acceptance card, the angel said, you receive this card to help your relationships with yourself and others. The next time you're tempted to judge yourself or someone else harshly, pray for their health and happiness instead. This more positive route builds self-esteem self and harmony and heals relationships. So absolutely, you know, we're all going through, we all go through challenges. We all are human. We're all going to be faced with things. When we let go of the judgments and we just send love to ourselves and to others, so many beautiful things open up in our lives. This is all about self-acceptance, self-love. And when we do that, we begin to accept everything. And I mean, wow, you guys, this is a, an amazing energy that is happening right now so i'm i'm just super grateful to share this message you guys are amazing and it feels really amazing to be tuned in to people who are truly walking this path with courage and you know it can be it's just it's not for everyone so i'm i'm loving this okay let's continue onward you guys so the first the first cards from the tarot that came out were the Hierophant. The next card was the Five of Pentacles. And the next card after that was the Ten of Pentacles. So what I gathered from this was that um, I asked Love to give us three cards for the overall advice and reading today. And what I'm gathering from this, the Hierophant's all about conformity, um, structure, spiritual um, leadership guidance this is about following your spiritual intuition your guidance your inner guidance um, the hierophant is an authority figure so right now we are really tuning this what this is 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 telling me this is all about your beliefs your traditions um, you know the five of pentacles is all about poverty and lack and abandonment and basically fear lack consciousness 
whereas the Ten of Pentacles is all about <laughs> ultimate fulfillment on every level, spiritual, mental, emotional. Um, it's, it's the old man here, he is, he is, he is able to look at this amazing, look back on his life. He's been through everything. He's built a true legacy built on unconditional love that he knows the future generations are going to benefit from. He is so content and fulfilled because he chose the path of love. He chose to instill values and morals and traditions in his life that benefit his family, that his, benefit his future generations in very positive ways. So this is abundance, you know, love consciousness. This is lack fear consciousness. The Hierophant's coming in and saying, you know, <laughs> the path you've chosen is right now what you're choosing is very important. Are you choosing fear, love consciousness? Are you choosing love abundance consciousness and what you believe is so you know what you what you think manifests your future and so this is about tuning in and forming a structure a tradition a way of life for you and your future generations your family how do you see your how do you see your legacy what are you what are you creating for your kids your grandkids and all the future generations to come you know this is a card is this card is a blessing because this card is telling me that it is you have chosen this you have chosen this and when the hierophant comes in it is it is so this is a blessed marriage this is a blessed union this is a blessed you know path this is a blessed path for you guys and so keep choosing this ten of pentacles that's what you're doing you're leaving behind this lack fear consciousness and taking responsibility and creating your own and you're creating your new own traditions based on what you know to be true on with love of who you really are okay so that's amazing I just love these messages um, <clears throat> from the Ascended Masters who received positive change. So this is an amazing positive change in your life, obviously. And so it's just affirming that continue on this path of love. This is a very positive change in your life. Positive things are happening. Keep that positive mindset. Know that everything is working out for your benefit. Um, we pulled artistic expression. <clears throat> So really tuning into your creative side, you know, you are a soul, you're a spiritual being and your dreams, your visions, your creative ideas, they are needed in this world and it's time for them to come out. So this card signals that your artistic talents are in need of creative expression. You have hidden talents that lie dormant. This trapped energy can make you feel tired, restless, and anxious, and can lead to addictions if the energy isn't expressed. Even if your artistic abilities feel unpolished, they need an outlet. Make the time today to draw, paint, sing, play, music, write, take photographs, make jewelry, sew, dance, or do something artistic and creative. You may find the key to your life's purpose and ideal career through this process. Take a class to learn a new artistic skill. One of your loved ones is an artist. Express your true feelings. Your life's purpose involves an artistic endeavor such as writing or playing music. So tune into your artist, your inner artist, and allow yourself to create and express whatever it is you're feeling inside. And you know, as you let go of judgments and just allow that pure essence of who you are to come out and just you know, it doesn't matter if you're going to show it to anyone or not. Just really start tuning into your spirit, your creative spirit, and see what happens. It really will lead you to new paths and new people and amazing, this, this amazing life, you know, this four of wands, you guys, is going to lead you, it's going to lead you to this amazing, oh, I love this. I see this in my future too, just like good times with friends and family, celebrating, creating, enjoying life, being who we are. Listen, okay, we also pulled the listen card. So um, continue listening to your guides, your higher self. Um, 
they're always sending you messages. They're always speaking to you. Listen to your intuition. That's your higher self speaking to you. Keep listening, keep trusting, and you know, tuning into that authentic voice inside, that, that authentic voice that's always benevolent, that's always on your side, that's always cheering you on, that's always giving you those ideas that make you feel like, oh, that would be amazing. Definitely keep listening and following that. Okay, you guys. And we pulled the dance celebration card from Earth Magic. So, you know, this goes along with this energy and really just tuning into your spirit. This message is all about tuning into your spirit and just celebrating. You guys have done so much inner work, so much outer work it's like over it's time to really begin to feel that energy of love within you and celebrate celebrate and dance the love that you feel inside artistically express the love you feel inside be joyful be joyful with your new path that you're creating and i just think it's amazing and then we pulled the cave sanctuary card so this goes along right with your vision quest um, and also, you know, this, this, all, this card also goes along with the Four of Wands too because the Four of Wands is all about, you know, stabi real stability, real nurturing space. The cave, the sanctuary, this is about going inside, but it's also about creating your own sanctuary. Like in your home, like your home should be your sanctuary, your, your peaceful place to retreat to from the world where it's, you're surrounded by everything that just you love that loves you people um things you know food the way that your house is set up the way it feels you know really creating a space for yourself where you can recharge on a daily basis having a place to go where you can your sanctuary you know where you can tune into your spirit every day uninterrupted that's what this card is all about so if you don't have that kind of space in your life really focus on creating that for yourself, creating a space where you can remove yourself from what's going on to tune into your spirit that, that recharges you, you know, surround it with all the things that you love, beautiful things, things that remind you of, you know, vision boards, like really make a space where you can manifest your life into reality. That's, that's this card here. Okay. And then the music harmony card, you know, again, this is, it goes right along with the energy and this is a time of really coming into harmony and balance within yourself, without yourself, with all the people in your life, um, your environment, your home, your purpose, your mission, your career, everything that you're doing right now. This is a time of harmony, you know, where the music is sweet and you have your own beautiful, unique note to play in this harmony, the sym symphony of life that we're living. So embrace this part of yourself tune into that part of yourself this card is telling you that a lot of harmony is coming into your life a lot of balance a lot of really beautiful relationships that are going to blossom and create something new you know when two people come together they create the harmony something new that was never created before so this is amazing you guys i love it and then we've pulled the angels sent us the assertiveness card. So this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. So let's read this. I know this card comes up quite a bit for us. <clears throat> So the angels say you drew this card because you were asking about a situation where you felt victimized. The angels are saying that, that the situation can only be rectified if you clearly communicate your needs and expectations to others. It's possible to be both angelic and assertive if you call upon the angels for courage and guidance whenever you intend to speak your truth. With practice, loving assertiveness becomes easier. Face the situation directly read a book or take a class on assertiveness training, <laughs> replace aggressive or passive aggressive behavior with assertiveness, handle conflict with honesty and love, tell the truth to yourself and others, 
this situation is an opportunity for personal and spiritual growth. And, you know, just from my own experience, um, if there's a reoccurring situation in your mind and it just keeps coming up over and over and over and it's causing you anxiety or it's causing you to not be able to sleep at night or you just you don't feel peace you know you're not choosing peace in this situation and you need to be assertive and say you know what I don't want to keep having this reoccurring over and over and over because the it, the only way it's going to stop is by you confronting it head on and just saying okay I've got to just do this head on I either need to contact this person speak my truth, be at peace with it. I need to, you know, leave this job. I need to give in my two weeks notice. I need to move out of this place. Um, I just need to be honest. Is this really ever going to make me happy? Continuing to hold on to it. If it's going to keep coming up and coming up, if, if, if it's repetitive, it's time to be assertive, confront it so that you can just, you know, and do it in love and just know that it's not serving you anymore. And there's no reason to be angry about it. Just recognize that it's not meant for you anymore and say, okay, this isn't meant for me. I'm going to take the steps to confront this, choose peace, not have any expectation, but knowing that just you speaking your truth, you being able to be at peace with the situation that you've done everything you can do to heal it, you can let it go. It won't keep coming up in your mind over and over and over again. It's going to literally disappear. So Clear out the old, make room for all this amazing new energy that's coming into your life, and reward yourself. Don't you love this, you guys? Reward yourself because you do deserve so much. You deserve so much. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. And you know what? That's right. And the Four of Wands, this card, this card's also about celebrating your accomplishments, celebrating all that you've achieved, all that you have worked for, you know, really reward yourself for all of the strength and hard work that you've done because it's going to just keep that energy flowing in your life and you know it's going to bring more joy and more harmony and you know it makes it all so much more amazing so don't forget to reward yourself go go do something fabulous for yourself I know I'm gonna reward myself very soon probably gonna take myself to the beach for a couple days and like pamper myself and get massaged and you know all of that stuff eat like the best food that I can find. <laughs> so the final card that the angel sent was ask. And I love this. I just love it. Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We've governed, we're governed by many un universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. You have to ask for what you what you want to receive. You have to be willing to ask for what you want. If you don't ask for what you want, who is going to? <laughs> you know, I had to learn this. It took me a long time to learn. I just recently learned this, that asking is about truly tuning into your soul and being very intentional that it is real <laughs> asking for me like I would be like you know I want this and I want that but in reality that's not asking asking is about truly trusting your spirit trusting in the unseen forces and the angels in the angelic realms and the where vibration of love resides is all right here. It's literally a frequency, a vibration that we can tune into. And I had to ask and I had to start testing it. And so I began asking and testing and asking and testing. And as I did that, I, it became more um, real for me, I guess, because I would start asking about my true desires like, I don't care about material. I just want peace. 
I ask for peace. And if this is real, I want relief. I want relief. I want to wake up and just not feel anxiety. I want to feel happy, like real contentment. So I started asking for these things and truly from my spirit, I mean like, okay, if this is real, then you're going to show me. And you know what? It started happening. So pray to your higher self, pray to the universe for what it is that you truly want, not for material objects, not for you know what you believe that you should that you deserve start asking for real love unconditional love unconditional abundance unconditional prosperity ask to be shown who you really are what your path is how to walk this path of love what your purpose is here you know that is when i began to receive started to receive the synchronicities and the messages so It's pretty powerful and I just love this and it's just a beautiful reminder to keep trusting your higher self. Keep trusting the universe that everything really is for your behalf. It's for you to learn and grow and you wouldn't be here in this moment if it wasn't for everything that you've been through. So that's our message today, you guys. I am just... I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm I'm always blown away at how awesome these messages are and I'm grateful that I'm able to share them with you and um, if they resonate or if they bring you any sort of affirmation, um, I would love to hear your feedback, your comments and if you have any questions that you want to ask love, definitely send them my way because I would love to answer. I would love to ask love. and share those messages with you guys so thank you so much for tuning in like share subscribe and until tomorrow you guys i'm sending you much love strength and um i believe in you i i'm so grateful to walk this path of love with you and i'm just honored i'm honored sending love from this beautiful river the rogue river in southern oregon and we got a little smoke going on, but um, it's all good. So I love you guys. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Lots of love.